There are several very basic concepts in chemistry that every chemistry teacher teaches, physical science classes as well, and even down into the, into the elementary grades. Uh, two of them are uh, going to be demonstrated here. One is chemical change, uh, and the second is conservation of mass. Uh, we very often talk about the fact that mass is conserved during a chemical reaction. This is sometimes uh, somewhat difficult to prove to students simply because if we burn a piece of paper, for example, we lose uh, carbon dioxide and water vapor, the mass changes, or if we do some other simple experiments which appear to demonstrate chemical change, they don't actually show us the conservation of mass. In this particular demonstration, we use very simple basic materials, uh, a flask with a small test tube that will fit down inside the flask. Our chemical changes uh, that we're going to observe are going to be first the uh, two reagents. The first is silver nitrate and what I'm going to do is to pour a small amount of silver nitrate down the side of the flask. The second reagent is going to be some potassium iodide and we are going to put that into a second container a small 13 millimeter culture tube. Now we notice uh, with careful observation here that the silver nitrate solution is perfectly clear and colorless and that the potassium iodide solution is slightly yellowish and it's a clear liquid. Now, by very carefully placing the tube down inside the flask and leaning it, we are able to have a closed system, and that's an important factor. We put a solid stopper in the top, and we have a closed system. This system is going to be our reaction vessel. In order to prove the conservation of mass, we are simply going to mass this by placing it on the balance. And when we do, we see that the mass is 194.2. With wind direction here, we have 0.25. Close enough? Now, to carry out the chemical reaction, we have a very simple process. All we have to do is remove our flask, invert it, allowing the two liquids to mix with one another. And what we see is we see a reaction and a reaction product. The reaction product here, of course, is silver iodide, a yellowish solid. So we're able to see very quickly and very readily the chemical change. We can talk about some of the evidence of chemical change, and that is we have formed a solid because it is opaque, and we have a color change we have gone to a milky yellow color. We, once again, we return it to the balance and we find out that, in fact, mass is conserved. We observe that the mass is 194.2 grams and we are able to show that mass is conserved. Now, this demonstration is limitless. It's a fun demonstration. It's a fun activity to extend into the laboratory because you can choose various combinations of reagents that will demonstrate the same concept. For example, one liquid in the tube could be a phenolphthalein solution, and in the flask we could put some sodium hydroxide, dilute sodium hydroxide. Uh, other combinations would be potassium thiocyanate in one container and some iron-3 nitrate or some iron-3 compound in the other. By being creative and thinking of very simple reagents in dilute concentrations that will produce a visible chemical change and giving them out to different lab tables, just think of what we have. Students can't copy the answers from the other students because they are going to all get different results. But their end product for a very simple and short lab is they will all conserve mass, but they will all have 
different observations in terms of the chemical changes that take place. So, this is a very simple, very easy demonstration that you can do in class, or you can modify it to your situation and use it as a lab activity with your student.